hello guys welcome to the physics revision so in this physics revision we are going to look at the uh, electricity so the topic of consideration is electricity okay so we are revising some questions from electricity and uh, this paper actually this question came from 2021 paper 1 gce so this was question b8 which reads figure b8.1 shows an electric circuit containing two resistors so this is an electric circuit with two resistors this one here and this one here and of course we have a battery and a switch here okay so you can see these are the things then the saying where on figure b8.1 draw on the circuit to show how a voltmeter will be used to measure the potential difference across the uh, 6 ohm resistor okay so what they want here is for you to draw uh, how the voltmeter can be connected to measure the voltage across this resistor here so there are two concepts that you should know all right so concept number one is that um, voltmeter all right so the voltmeter uh, the voltmeter is always is always connected in series uh, i mean in always is the voltmeter is always connected it is always connected in parallel parallel with the appliance okay whatever appliance can it be whether the resistor whatever it is it should be connected in parallel and then what you should know also is that uh, a meter a meter is always connected in series with the appliance so whatever appliance it is so now in this case on a where they're saying on figure b 8.1 draw on the circuit to show how a voltmeter will be used to measure the potential difference across the six resistor six ohm resistor so it should be connected in parallel here so the voltmeter will be connected in parallel like either you put the voltmeter the symbol is a v and a circle like that then you connect it like that okay that is all so either you put it on this side where i've put it or you can put it on the other side here it will be the same you put like here like that it's just the same okay then b they're saying when the switch s is closed this switch is closed is here calculate the current through the ammeter a so you calculate the current that will pass through the ammeter a so for you to be able to calculate the current you must have this concept first of all to say that um, when current is moving from the cell it moves from the positive it passes in the wire passes through the say the um, the ammeter it passes through this resistor 6 ohm resistor 2 ohms then it goes back so that's how current moves all right so current in a series circuit like this one will be the same all right so the current the ammeter is going to measure the current at 6 ohm the current at 2 ohm resistor will be the same okay so the concept that you should know is that um, current is the same is the same at all points at all points of a series circuit that's the concept you need to know here guys okay so if that is the case then for us to know the current that is passing through this we need to know the total resistance first of all okay so total resistance first of all is going to be like rt i'll say it will be resistor 6 plus resistor 2 so i'll substitute like resistor 6 has got a 6 ohms then plus resistor 2 has 2 ohms so if we add this we'll get like 80 ohms now for us to find the current we will use what we call ohms law which says voltage is equal to uh, current times c 
resistor in this case it will be resistor total then we need current we make current the subject of the formula so it will be like voltage divided by resistor total then if we substitute we we'll have like current is going to be equal to voltage you see the voltage coming from here is 16 volts so you say 16 volts uh, if you want you say divided by resistor total we have found it is 8 so you say 80 ohms then once you divide 8 into 16 you get like 2 so current will be like 2 amps so this will be the current that will be read here so this one will read uh, like 2 amps then that is all for this one let's move to the next page okay so b they're saying when the switch s is closed calculate the current through the amid okay we have we have calculated b then they're saying what is the potential difference across resistor 6 ohm so they want the potential difference across this resistor here so when we connect that voltmeter here that we talked about here like what potential difference of voltage can it measure okay so now we know the current we know they want voltage so voltage is given by the same we said voltage will be given by current times the resistor and we told you here that um, the current that will pass here will be the same that will pass here it will be the same so the current that will pass here it will be two amps okay so the current will be like two amps then the actual resistor here is the six ohm resistor we are dealing with so substitute these in the equation you'll find that you have two times six which will be equal to 12. so it will be 12 volts so you put your 12 volts here here we had to calculate as two amps okay so yeah so this is how it is it is so simple guys and for gce those gce doing gc gce those doing gce so if you are doing gce this year i encourage you to join my online lessons where i will be doing my revision so gce science is going at 120 okay then also biology biology is also going at 60 question then mathematics is going at 60 quarter so these revisions are beneficial for you so you will be able to do well once you join them as you can see in this one that i'm doing here so next let's go to this question b9 which came in 2022 paper 1 gce so let's read the question it says figure b 9.1 shows a circuit consisting of a 12 volt battery with a combination of resistors between points uh, x y and z so we have points x y and z and then we have a combination of resistors so when they say combination of resistors then we have one we have series the two we have parallel so when these are together we usually call this one combination okay so now let's see how we can do this one so the question a says calculate the effective resistance between y and z in the circuit okay so they want the uh, effective resistance so whenever you hear the word like effective it just means total resistance between y and z so they want the this resistor and this resistor so now you see a 6 ohm and 12 ohm is in parallel parallel is when the appliances are connected side by side okay not in the same line but they are connected side by side so like this the side by side this is a parallel so now if you want parallel resistor total uh, it will just be like R total in parallel the simplest formula that we give is like if i call this one resistor one this one i call it resistor two then parallel is always resistor one times resistor 
2 then we say over resistor 1 plus resistor 2 so this is the shortest formula that we use so we can substitute uh, R1 I've said it to be 6 ohm okay then plus then R2 will be like 12 ohms then over R1 again it will be 6 ohm plus I mean here on top it's times not plus so here it's times not plus okay so plus is down here so again we'll have like 12 ohms so equals so if we try like uh, let's say let me get a calculator here so let me get a calculator hmm. so let me do like uh, open brackets i have like uh, 6 times 12 okay then cross brackets divided by open brackets i'm doing like 6 plus 12 i'm doing it at once then i get like equals i'm getting like 4 so here i'm getting like 4 ohms that will be the total resistor okay so it is 4 ohms so here we'll put our answer as total resistor so you need to show the work here so that the space here was too short so you need to show your work like the way it is you put the, the formula like r1 when you indicate the wave indicated do everything like that so 2 over like um, r1 plus in r2 then you do like this r total is equal to so where r1 is you say 6 ohms times in, uh, 12 ohms then over then again 6 ohms plus in, then in, again 12 ohms so i find that it is going like a uh, other total is going to be equal to uh, 4 ohms the way we have solved already yeah so this is how you should actually line it up nicely okay so let's go to the other question here b so b they are saying find the current through the two ohm resistor so let's bring the circuit so this is the circuit they want the current through the two ohm resistor here so you see the current that will come through the two ohm resistor is dependent on the total current that is passing it's the same total current passing through the circuit that will come here when it comes here some will divide will go here some will go here so if that current coming here we'll just call it that one the one which goes here we can either name it i6 the one which goes here we can call it i12 it doesn't matter meaning that the total current that is passing coming from the battery which is i when it reaches at y here it divides into like in i6 plus in i12 so that is just a by the way thing here now we want to know the current that is passing through the the two ohm resistor here so here we are going to use the total uh, we use everything total voltage total resistor for us to know the current passing through the circuit because that current passing through the two ohm resistor is the current generated in the circuit so to find it you need to use all the total values so total resistor total resistor first in of the whole circuit will be the two ohm resistor plus that one we found here the one we found here which was four ohm which is now six ohm so this is the total resistor in the circuit then after knowing that we know we have voltage so now they want current so we use ohms law which says current then this so this current again it can be current total if you want you can name it total but you leave it because we already indicated that this is total so they want current to make it the subject of the formula voltage over resistor total like that which will be like that current is going to be equal to voltage is 12 there so 12 over 6 here you have seen so it will be 6 uh, as a total resistance so when we divide here uh, 6 into 12 it will be 2 so we we'll put a there as amps so that's the current going here which is divided in there then the same calculate the uh, voltage across the two ohm resistor 
So now they want the voltage across the two ohm resistor. Okay, so let me just um, clear out this thing here again and then show you how that works. Okay, so the voltage across the two ohm resistor. So you must understand that the voltage in series is not the same. So like here, we have a vo voltage which is different here with the voltage which is here. The voltage which is here is quite different. There are two different voltages here. Now they want the one which is here, okay? So the voltage which is here will be just simple, okay? We'll be able to generate it using the current going there and the voltage and the resistor. So voltage will just be equal to, so the current that is going there and then the resistor going there. So it is going to be equal to, so the current is just, um, we found it to be two. Then we will say times the resistor again, it is two. So this one is going to produce like um, four volts. So that will be the one. So we can prove if we can also find the current, the voltage here. If we find this voltage, let's try to find it. It is going to be equal to the current across there. It is still two times the resistor is six, which we found. No, no, no. It was four. We found the volt resistor. So this one gives us eight uh, volts. So if you get this eight, the voltage which is um, let me clean this one. So if I named like this is voltage one, and I named this voltage two, and this is just voltage, you must know that the voltage is equal to voltage one plus voltage two. So if I got this one, I found here which is four plus this one I found here which is eight. It should give me total so eight plus uh, four it will be twelve volts like this one here. So meaning this answer was correct. That's how you prove yourself when you're solving. Yeah. So just as I said for online lesson for science, this is one twenty. Okay. And then for biology, this is sixty. Then for maths, this is again. So make payment so that you are helped to pass your GCE uh, examination once for all or if he, the internal examination will pass it also once for all. Yeah. So as for now, bye and see you in the other video.